April. And bookshelves aren't just for books. <laughs> it's Wednesday, so that means Top 5 Wednesday, which was started by Ginger Reads Laney. I'll link all the wonderfulness of her channel and the Goodreads group down below. But today's topic is 5 things on your bookshelf that aren't books. Now I'll be honest, I don't normally keep things on my bookshelf that aren't books. But sometimes things just get set there for various lengths of time and I might have put some other things on there just so I could do this video. Welcome. I'm going to start out with, you guys have all seen my wonderful lamp. Uh, it makes my face purple. This I sometimes use while filming because it's awesome and I can, you know, I got, I got to unlock my phone. I'm pointing this at my face. I feel like a weirdo. But you can change the colors of the lights. What should we change to? We, we go over here and oh, oh, look at that. Look at it. Orange. It's now green. And we're going towards yellow and orange. We're going to keep it in orange because that, that just highlights my beautiful hair right now. But yeah, we got, I got that lamp that usually sits behind me from my brother who's awesome. So that's object number one or eleven. The next object is a set of objects, and they're these fake flowers, and these headbands that my roommate so kindly put on my bookshelf, because I make flower crowns for the dogs. See here, insert photo. And this one has been yet to be made into a headband flower wreath thing. Next. We got some Tamagotchis, because I am a child of the 90s. And I was moving stuff and they just ended up on the bookshelf. <laughs> None of them work. There are no batteries in either of these. Though maybe sometime in the future there may be. That has possibilities. This cat was not on the shelf. <laughs> My prized possession of, I can't, I don't even know if you can see that on the screen right now. It's really, really light. This wonderful autograph by David Tennant because he's my favorite doctor ever. And okay, so maybe I paid some money for some people to send it to me and I didn't actually get to meet him, but it still counts! And finally, finally, the last things that aren't books on the bookshelf are the Furbies! First generation and not first generation. I don't even know what generation is. I can tell neither of them have batteries that are working, mainly because they creep my roommate out and she doesn't want to hear them in the middle of the night. Or randomly walk in and have them just be talking. Furbies. So those are just a few things. Actually, the only things <laughs> that sometimes are on my bookshelf that aren't books. They kind of let you know that I'm a 90s child, and a flower child, and obsessed with Doctor Who, and lamps. <laughs> Tell me one thing that you have on your bookshelf that you may or may not want anybody else to know. I heard your beautiful faces. Bye. Oh! Hey Leslie! Yeah? Do you want to come check my face and how beautiful it is? Or should we make it? We should make it purple since Leslie's really slow! Now you can see my underside of my face is purpley blue. Say it. Say it reflect on my face. Ah. Am I in focus? Y'all want me to hurry? <laughs> 